As summer slips away, so are prices at the gas pump. AAA reports a gallon of unleaded gasoline tumbled seven cents during the past week. Phil Flynn, a Fox Business News contributor and oil trader with Price Futures Group, is with us this morning. Good morning, Phil. Good morning. It's about time. It it's is about, about time. time. What's driving down prices? You know, a couple of things. You know, all of that refinery maintenance we were talking about all summer about expanding refining capacity. Well, the U.S. has the most refining capacity they probably have had in over 30 years. That means that we're producing gasoline at a record pace and we're we have a glut of gasoline, so that's driving down prices. Now, I know there's some people in some parts of the country saying, hey, our gas prices aren't coming down because of regional issues, but in the big picture, nationwide, they are starting to come down, and hopefully this is a sign they're going to come down for years to come. But what about crude? Crude has been climbing. There's a lot of growth happening in China, apparently, that's driving crude higher. What mm -hmm. do you think about that? You know, I, I think uh, at the end of the day, the crude oil is probably overvalued, even with the growth from China. I think we've got a lot of uh, buildup in the price of WTI. Are those uh, speculators? Yeah, well, no. I think it's what, what's overpriced right now when you look at, at crude oil is the value of the dollar, quantitative easing, what the Fed does to the price of oil. And when they talk about tapering those prices, I think will start to come back. Look at how much oil moved. If you look at the biggest moves in oil, it hasn't been been predicated by OPEC or speculators. It's by either the Federal Reserve or the Bank of England or the European Central Bank. But those Phil, are the those ones are that really traders. move oil. I, I smell speculation no. here. Well, do you? Are, okay. Well, there's always a speculator, but for every speculator, for every buyer, there is a seller on the other side. So uh, that kind of evens it off when it comes to speculator. But, you know, when you look at what really drives the market, does anybody think that oil would be above $100 a barrel without the Federal Reserve and QE and negative interest rates, I couldn't find one person that would think that. What's going on with demand? I think demand uh, in the U.S. is falling uh, over the big picture, but in the emerging markets like China, it's starting to go up, but not at in a big pace. But big picture, the United States has hit peak demand. Our demand is going to start going down year after year, and our production is going to go up year after year. I think we're going to be a major oil exporter to the emerging markets. And here in the U.S., we're going to become a lot more efficient. We're going to drive a lot more natural gas vehicles and electric uh, vehicles in the future. And those old gas guzzlers, guzzlers that we used to drive are going to be a thing of the past. That was a good promo for Tesla. Thanks there for coming go. on the show today. Thank, Thank you for your you. thoughts. Always a pleasure. Fun. Good Thank to be you. here.